Hey there everybody, it's Linnea, and I'm here today with a video for the Pear Blossom Press and My Favorite Things collaboration. So I'm going to be using the Easy Lights from Pear Blossom Press, along with some of the items from the latest My Favorite Things release. I'm going to make two cards, one that is more autumn themed and one that is Halloween themed. So definitely tell me which one is your favorite. Let's start here, I'm gonna do the autumn one first. I have the Rectangle Trio sen uh, stencil from My Favorite Things, and I'm positioning that towards the center top of an A2 card background. And then I'm just gonna do some ink blending. I'm gonna blend on some traditional autumn colors, and I'm going to kind of break them up a little bit because there's those three rectangles so I'm going to be doing one that's brown into red, one that's red into orange, and then one that's orange into a, a yellowish brown color to kind of round out these three rectangles. And these are going to be my background. My second card will be more of a scene card. This first one definitely has scene elements to it, but it's a very simple scene. I'm not going to work too hard on the background. This stenciling is all I'm going to do for the background. I'm just using one stamp set for this card. I'll be using the Happy Campers stamp and die set. So I stamped out a bunch of these little camping critters and I die cut them out with the coordinating dies. And then I'm just gonna play around with them and decide how I want them to go on my stenciled background. Once I get all of that finished and worked out, this is probably what takes me the longest amount of time. Figuring out where I want them to go takes me longer than actually putting together the light up mechanism. But once I finally get it figured out, I'm going to pierce some holes in the center of my light up images. So I'm gonna be lighting up the moon, the campfire, and the lantern that the mouse is holding. And all I'm using is a paper piercer, and I'm just gonna pierce a little hole right in the middle of where I want the light to come through. Since I also need my lights to come through the background, I'm going to reposition my pieces onto my background where I want them to go. And then I'm using a pencil to make a mark through those holes onto my background. And then I'll take my piercer and pierce a hole through my background as well. And I'm just gonna pierce a hole right where each of those pencil marks are so that I will have a hole going through my stamped elements and through my background onto my card base. Now for my card base, I need to know exactly where to put those lights. So I'm going to take my pencil again and just make a little mark through the holes in my background so that I know right where I wanna put each of my three little lights. I also need to mark a spot where I want to have the push button. So to do that, I did the same process again. I just kind of put a hole through my background piece and I will mark that on my card base with an X. So I should have three dots representing where I want to put the three little light bulbs and one X where I want to put the push button from the Easy Lights Power Pack. So now it's just time to start adhering the Easy Lights onto my card base. You're going to want to add some strong adhesive onto that button piece I choose to use double-sided adhesive, but you could use liquid glue if you want to. I just like how strong the double-sided adhesive holds. Now you want to take one of those little light bulbs and place them over where the little pencil dots are. That's where the light is going to be. I just like to take my extra length of wire. These are cut extra long, so you could make slimline cards with these. You could make larger than A2 cards. And I just like to take a piece of washi tape and secure that coil in place. And you're gonna see me do this again, just kind of loop to looping those wires around. And then I will add that light bulb. You wanna make sure it's face up, so yellow side up on top of that little dot so I know it's right in the correct place. And then I'll add a piece of washi tape over top of those wires to make sure that they don't shift at all super easy to do and then you're just going to slide the battery in push that button to test it and you're going to see me kind of testing this throughout the rest of the process now I'll add my background on top and test it and then I'll add my pieces on top using some liquid adhesive for the little fire and then I have foam tape behind the the other little critters and what I'm doing is I like to hold my background up to my light 
and look through the little pierced dot that I have in the center of the fire and look through to line that up with the pierced dot in my background. So I'm gonna do that with all of my pieces. My fox doesn't have a hole to look through because he's just the push button, but the little mouse with his lantern, I'll look through and make sure that all of those holes line up properly. And then before I adhere anything else in place, I'll give this another test. Pear Blossom Press has this double thick foam tape and this stuff is magical. It's skinny tape, so it fits into a lot of little spaces, but it is twice as thick or as like, you know, as high as regular foam tape. So you know how usually you would have to double over your tape and fuss with that? You don't have to at all, and it's amazing. Another really fabulous thing that I like about this tape is how easily the backing comes off. I didn't have to fight with this backing at all. So I just added some around all four corners of my cardstock and then some in the middle. You wanna make sure that you're adding support to your background, but don't cover up where the button is or where the lights are. I find that it's okay to put the tape over the wires, but you don't want it to interfere with that light up mechanism at all. Look at this, isn't it so cute? I love how those little lights light up and it's so easy. Let's move on here to the second card. This one's gonna be a Halloween card. And I have here the cloud cover dies. I don't end up using them, but I used everything else here. So I cut out some things from the haunted house die set, the house and the trees and then the little boards for the windows. I used the moon from the um, Halloween Who stamp set. And then I have a bunch of other little characters from the Boo Crew stamp set. This is the Rolling Clouds stencil, and I'm going to just start stenciling on some blue and purple inks. Right now I have my card base in the vertical orientation, but I'm going to switch this and do a horizontal card just because I think that's going to work better with my scene. Now I do wanna mention that on my first card and then on this card too, I don't have a little button that says press here. You certainly could do that, but I find that it's just as easy to write a little note on the inside that says, hey, press on the, um, the little fox's tummy, or in this case, I'm going to have them press on the little witch girl and for a light up surprise. So you could definitely do your own little push here button. I just like to keep the card front looking like a normal card and have that light up be a surprise. So I have a little strip of black cardstock that I've added a white stitched line to, and that's gonna represent my road. I am just, after I finished up this stenciled background, kind of laying everything out and seeing how I want to position things. This is something that I do frequently before I glue things down. I find that you can move things and change things before they're glued, but once they're glued, you can't really move them. So I will lay everything out, kind of getting an idea of how I want things to be, and then I'll start gluing my pieces onto my card. So once I have everything all laid out, I'm going to do the same process as I did with the first card. I'm gonna add little piercings to my images that I want to be lit up. So I'm gonna be lighting up the moon, the jack-o'-lantern, and the window in the center of the house. So all I'm doing is just positioning these little pieces where I want them to be. And then this time, instead of piercing two separate holes, one through the image and one through the background, I'm doing it all at once. So you saw me there kind of put the jack-o'-lantern in place and then I use my piercer and pierce through two layers at once. I found that just to save a step. Now I'm gonna use my pencil and poke the pencil through the holes so that I know where to put the lights from the easy lights. And then again, I'm going to kind of just pop my pieces back in place. I want to be able to push on the little witch girl and have her light up the card. So I'm gonna put an X on my card base where I want her to be, and that's going to signify where I need to put the button from the easy lights. Okay, so now again, just like before, I'm going to add some double-sided adhesive onto the back of that easy light mechanism. I'll remove the backing from the adhesive and then I'm going to put that little button right on top of the X and that's going to be where I want my little witch girl on the front of my card to be so that I can push her and she will push the button. I ran each of the wires to one of the little dots and I taped those in place with some washi tape. 
I gave that button a test press, and then I'm going to put my background piece on top and test that again. Everything looks great, so I'm going to add my pieces to the front, making sure those holes line up so that the light will shine through. Again, I'm using the Pear Blossom Press Double Thick Foam Adhesive, and that's just going to make my life so much easier. And then I will just add that foreground panel right on top of my card base and give that another test press to make sure everything is working properly. And that's it, it's that easy. There's two light up cards and these took me essentially no time at all. I love to turn off my desk lights so that you guys can really see how bright these lights are. I think they're super fun. So make sure you let me know which one is your favorite. Do you like the fall card or do you like the Halloween card? I love them both, but I really, I think I love the Halloween card. I love the purples and the blues, but I do love those stripes for the autumn card. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out both Pear Blossom Press and My Favorite Things. Both are amazing companies, and I thoroughly enjoyed working with both of them for this hop. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.